Oh, we're back on trail. Oh, trail <laughs> Finally, we took enough days off. No, we didn't. <laughs> We've got a lot more days off to come in Maine. So, and I returned those shorts that were too short. <laughs> right up my butt. And I got better ones. They're like twice as expensive, but boop, they're pretty. Pretty short. There's PR. He's excited to be back on trail. He got a scrambled egg for breakfast. And I had an omelet. What did you have? I had the long road. I don't know, two eggs, ham, nice. French toast. Oh, yeah. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Lots of coffee. Sugar, sugar, sugar. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I didn't get shorty shorts though. No shorty shorts for you? I should have. <laughs> yeah, you should have. <laughs> so we're back on trail at Grafton Notch State Park and headed up the bald pates. You want a drink? You got a stick? I got it. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Careful. Holy moly. He loves the stick. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna bite my hand right off. <sighs> nope, we're done with that stick. We're done with that little burst of energy? Alright. How you find him? Like to register his. Which is Stefan? So, <clears throat> I didn't really do any videoing the last couple of days. I just did put together some pictures of our double zero. Okay, so recap. The end of day 168, we hiked into Grafton Notch. Um, my sister Maggie was there. She picked us up, brought us to the Bethel Inn. We got checked in, um, washed up. She came back, picked us up. Well, we had dinner right there at the inn. They have a restaurant or a tavern um, in the basement. They have outdoor seating. So she bought us dinner. And then... Um, the next morning, she came and picked us up and took us to breakfast. And uh, then took us to the laundromat. And then my other sister, Rita, came down. She lives up near Bangor, near me. And she drove down with all of my resupply and some dog food I had shipped to her and some things that I ordered online a um, whole bunch of stuff she's gonna resupply us in the 100 mile wilderness so she brought down stuff for us to look through and decide what we needed her to bring to us in the 100 mile wilderness so we organized all that, grabbed what we needed for this section, and we went out to lunch with her at the burger place in Bethel. And actually she bought lunch for us. So thanks Maggie for dinner. Thanks Rita for lunch and both of you for the rides and resupply stuff. I had had Amazon orders and packages sent to Maggie's house also. So we got everything organized, sent Rita back home with my sleeping bag and extra stuff. 
was able to swap out the skirt that was the zipper was cutting into me um, for more comfortable shorts finally found some that fit <clears throat> and what else I have my new hokas they seem pretty good a really good tread so yeah we'll see and I got those new and gingy socks from Chris Hurlbutt. Thank you so much for shipping those. So now I have an extra pair. I was rocking just one pair of those for the past like 800 miles. And actually they're holding up really nicely, so, but they stink really bad. So it's nice to have a clean pair. Love it. And we're approaching what looks like the top of something. So that's always good. Woo! I can't see. I'm all fogged up. I can't remember what else. We took two zeros. So then today, my sister Maggie picked us up. We went to breakfast. Um, and oh, we saw Nikki and Ryan again at the uh, grocery store last night when we were grabbing some late night snacks after we got sushi and um, yeah Bethel broke the bank you guys Bethel broke the bank but we had fun damn it check check this out holy views nice I wasn't sure if we were going to be in the clouds. It looked like the clouds were moving in when we first started. PR, where'd he go? Look at that, you guys. Holy. There you are. Woohoo. And PR's pads look like they really were put to the test through the whites and the beginning of Maine here. They are very, very smooth and thin. So that's another reason we took a, a second zero day. We don't want to push him too hard and then he'd end up off trail. So we're going to keep an eye on those pads. Um, ground like this is really hard for him when it's like super slanty and just like sandpaper on the bottom of his paws so hopefully the terrain stays friendly for him uh so where was i then this morning maggie we went to breakfast again at the crossroads and uh, then uh, headed back to trail. She dropped us back off at Grafton Notch and um, yeah, so here we are up on the bald pates. And PR's doing really good off leash, you guys. I knew that he would once we got to Maine. Bum, bum, bum. Ooh, it's pretty up here. I love these trees. So our plan is basically a week from now we'll be in Carabasset at the Hostel of Maine. We'll take a zero rest day there. And then about a week from there we'll be up in Monson uh, at Shaw's and we'll take a rest day up there. And then um, I don't know, within 10 days of that, we'll be through the 100 mile wilderness and at the summit. So, um, we'll see what happens. And my other sister, Liz, lives up in northern Maine, like up past Katahdin. So, we might see her um, when we get up to Abal Bridge. If she can get time off work, she is an ER room, uh, well, an ER nurse. Um, so, that's probably really crazy hectic. So, hopefully we get to see her before this trip is over. 
and uh, yeah, so that's the update. Two zeros in Bethel. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Heck yeah. Whew. Oh, we up there. That is up, up, up. This is straight. day full of brownies. Uh, my sister Rita made us some delicious brownies and um, Timex um, met up with us out on trail with some brownies and iced coffee, coke, Doritos. Um, that was fucking awesome. Thank you so much Timex. These shoes are great today. I really like them. But I also got my Tevas back, so I'm gonna wear those. Now that we're at camp. Ooh. Settle down, Cujo. Nah, there's just like shit everywhere. Done, baby. Mm -hmm. I love them. Wee! That was close. Uh, that's an explosive can of Coca Cola. It's like a fish. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. I'm afraid for what is going to happen with this Coca-Cola, but you got it up over the limb. Bam. Maybe. It's not so strong out that far. Okay, take three. <laughs> You're not even showing that last one. It was bad. Boink! Ow. Damn. Alright, we finally got it. Got it. <laughs> 
Heck yeah. Oh boys. Ready? Push it up. Spinning. Oh wait. Are you tying it off or doing the PCT? Because if you're gonna do the PCT, you gotta. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Tie it off. Okay. I can do that. It's heavy. <laughs> That's what he said. Bunch of food. Sounds like that branch is gonna break. It does. That's why I'm saying get back. Get back. Okay. <laughs> it's heavy. Want me to push him up with a branch? Yep. 